everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking books. 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 Today for our video, we have a special guest. My little brother. Andy. Aww. I put a poll up on Instagram to decide what my next video idea was going to be. And while the four finalists are going to be done, like they're going to become videos, the winner was my little brother guesses the plot of my books by their covers. So how much do you read, Andy? I read nothing at all. He's Zero. barely literate. No That's not true. <laughs> I know how to read, just choose not to. Yep, he doesn't like reading. I tried to get him to read Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, and he couldn't make it through the first chapter. I did not. Book one, Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Bracken. Bracken? Bracken. Bracken. Yeah. <gasps> He can only look at the cover, he can't read the back for obvious reasons. He can do this, he can do that. What this is as far as you can see. Just kidding, I know what's in the back. Okay, so this is clearly Medusa. Medusa, 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 Medusa. The head of snakes. So my guess, it is the story of Medusa. Mm -hmm. But her actual name is Lore. 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 That's her <laughs> actual name, Lore. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then this is a story of how she became Medusa. First she was Lore, but then she became Medusa. <laughs> Tell me I'm right. Come on. <laughs> no, you're Tell completely me I'm wrong. wrong. Right. What do you mean? It's Medusa. So, what Lore is actually about every seven years, all the gods are made mortal for a competition mm -hmm. where hunters try to kill them and take their power. That's fun. Our main character. Medusa. Lore. Oh, Lore. <laughs> is one of was one of the hunters, but she gave up that life. Right. But Athena finds her, gotcha. so she's pulled back in the game. So Lore goes back into the game. Yeah, as a hunter. And hunts heirs. I can't tell you how it ends because of spoilers. All spoilers. But yeah, that's course. the summary. It's cool. That was close. Book two. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I already know what it is. Levenseller. I already know what it's about. Clearly, there is a sword involved in this. That's not a sword. A dagger. Thank you. A dagger, if you want to be fancy. No, it's but not But what fancy. is a dagger? A dagger is a small baby sword. <laughs> Lesson by Andy. Clearly here we have an evil dagger. So whoever possesses this dagger is evil. And the story is about people that want the dagger to have full control over the whole wide world. But the shadows protect the dagger. So you must fight the shadows as shadow hunters. I've read about that in another book. Maybe it has nothing to do here. No, it does not. We're gonna bring it into this book. And they must fight the shadows that protect the dagger to hold the power of the little baby sword. That is my take and here. That's wrong, but damn, that was a good book idea. Right? It's a good book? It's a good book? But no, that's not what this is about. This is about a girl who wants to seduce the king so mm -hmm. they can marry, so she can kill him, and she can take over the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Smart lady. Yeah. And she holds the dagger. Oh, and the king um can't be touched by anyone. Because then they die. No. They turn into gold. No. What because he uh, has a power of shadows. <gasps> But once somebody touch his, touches him, he loses his powers with that person. So the powers go to that person. No, no, no. He just doesn't oh, no. become a shadow anymore. They can be. He can be touched all the time. Oh, so he can never be touched. Yeah. Interesting. Sad, yeah. sad life. Kind of. Mm. Book number three is Fangirl three. by Rainbow three. Rowell. Now, good luck. Oh, Fangirl. Fangirl. It's one of my favorite standalones. It is one of her favorite standalones. Now, you may ask, what is a standalone? And Nobody I am with asked. you. I have no clue what that is. I am with you on that one. <laughs> what the heck is a standalone? Who knows? But we will go back into today's main topic, which is what is fangirl? And we'll just skip over that part. But the female, I mean female, <laughs> whoopsie, and the male, right? They are in love, but not straightforward. Of course not, of course not. Then the book would be over so soon. And that's not what we want. How is it? So what happens? There's a boy, a boy, very famous boy, kind of like Justin Bieber or Harry Styles, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sexy lady. Ooh, now, is that their song? No, who cares? 
this girl is a fangirl. <laughs> fangirl of said boy. Now the boy has like millions of girls after him, but yet she stands out as the special one. There you go. So the fangirl is about her being a fangirl to him and they end up falling in love and they have cute babies together. Mm, the end. Okay. No. Hmm, I'm three for three. She's a fangirl of a story. Kind um, of like Harry Potter. It's a whole story, like a book within the book. Within the book. And she writes fan fiction for it. Okay. She's a fangirl of that. Right. And he... he goes to college with her and that's mm -hmm. how we meet and they um, you were right on one thing they don't fall in love right away of course of course i was but yeah there's a lot of other stuff there's like she has a little bit of um, so, so i was close i was close family problems and stuff but it's good so i was close they don't fall in love my favorite right standalone one of them one of her favorite standalones <laughs> whatever that is numero cuatro the fourth book we have Crescent City by Crescent Sarah J. Mass. Now, Sarah J. Mass, I, I have heard of her before because my little sister is a big fan of Sarah. So, Sarah, if you're watching, <laughs> come on by and say hi to my little sister. So. You're never going to guess. Actually, she... wait, wait. Oh, so sorry. The name is not Crescent City. Crescent City is the series. The name right. of this book is House of Earth and Blood. House of Earth and Blood. I oh. just call it Crescent City. I feel oh. like everyone does. But uh, House of Earth and Blood. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly, this is a book that involves a lot of blood and earth. Meaning that it is house to that of the earth and the blood. Right. Now we know that the whole series is Crescent City. So we know it is in a city. Maybe by the name of Crescent. Who knows? Maybe. But, Maybe in the shape? But this of book. The crescent? So we have this young lady right here. Who Sarah J. Mass might think that it's her. Maybe. Who knows? This young lady right here wants to be queen, queen of everything, right? And she has the power of the face of the moon, which is why her face is on the moon. But this story is about how her house is on earth and not the moon. It's on earth and she has to kill a lot of people, meaning there's a lot of blood because she has to kill a lot of people to get to where she wants to get and people want to kill her. So she protects herself by killing those. Maybe with the dagger from the last book, who knows? But she definitely, definitely has a lot of earth and blood in this book. Yeah, she uh, she has a pet bird. <laughs> no. <laughs> four for four. This is hard to explain too. Even though you know what, I'm gonna give you half a point. Ha hey, hey. Because there are a lot of people trying to kill her, and exactly. she does kill people. That's where the blood goes into. But the, earth. the actual theme has nothing to do with the moon with the bird or with the crescent or the blood and earth then sarah j mass i am sorry house, but you need a better title hey house of oh. earth and blood is the place of where she lives never mind you're you're correct <laughs> you're correct then sarah but sorry. mainly this is a crime mystery mixed in with Faye. so that's you know what Faye is you don't know Faye. because that's a book thing Faye. Faye. it's like a we'll add that to my list it's like a modern fairy it's not a modern fairy but it's like a human fairy Human fairy. It's the one that have ears that I've shown you. Oh, so I'm a fake. <laughs> I have ears. <laughs> pointy ears. Fake. Pointy ears. Oh, I meant. pointy ears. I've shown you some fan art. Yeah, like the blonde one with the pointy ears. Yeah. That one. That's you. Aelin. Aelin. Who's not in this book? Who's not in this book? But Bryce, who is in this book, has Bryce. that too. That's the one that everybody's in love with, right? Bryce. Most people. She's really a good looking. Oh, girl. it's she. Oh, okay. I thought Bryce was like a uh, like. No, it's a gotcha, girl. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, book number five. Here it is. It's number one, two, three, four, five, guys. Woo! Renegades by Marissa Mayer. <gasps> Renegade like the dance? Renegade, Renegade. That one? No? Okay. Never mind it. <laughs> I thought what Renegade was about. It is not. Here you go. Try to guess. Alrighty then. He should know, because I think I told him what this was about when Here I was Here we have superheroes and villains right this is loki from star wars loki very similar and this is like the green arrow female edition but not really so here we have this is a um robot half human half robot right what are, what's that called again android sure android and she is human and this is the battle of the superheroes versus the evil androids right this is the main building, like the Avengers Tower, right here. 
This is where the superhero, I have no clue where I'm going with this. Like no idea, wow. So this guy is evil, right? He looks evil, he's shaped evil. So he is her main rival, but they fall in love. They fall in love. Why you may ask? Because love is a tricky thing. And even rivals fall in love. Let's call him James for now. And here we have um, Maria. Maria and James are rivals, like I was saying. But they found each other at the end of the story. After all the fighting between their families. There's three books. <laughs> so clearly not at the end of this book, but at the end of the third book, they will find each other. Right now they they're find just each fighting. Other in the beginning. They are no, I mean like like love wise. Um, they find each other in a intimate way. Right now they just find each other and they don't like each other. They want to fight. Yeah. And they fight each other. And his family and her families are opposites. So they fight trying to come out on top. But little do they know that love comes out on top and they have little babies. <laughs> that is my take here with Andy. <laughs> Books. I'm gonna give you. Ah, it's I'm gonna give you the point. There it is. But. But. She is evil. He's good. Ah, I was close. When there's a movie, let me know. Yeah. Book. Numero. Six. Oh God. It's Kingdom of the Wicked by. Kingdom of the Wicked by Sarah J. Mass. No. Oh, damn it. By Carrie Maniscalco. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> Long time no see. All right. So here. Now, this is an interesting because I actually like this cover. It's pretty, actually, pretty nice. What do we have here? Death. Death is the main topic of this book. I can see that. Why, you may ask. That flower, dead. Those, literally, dead. Whoever this was is clearly dead. And he has a snake coming out through his eyes. Here we have a post-war kingdom, right? There's a lot of death and people are trying to figure out what they're gonna do. So, hence the title, Kingdom of the Wicked. Everybody wants to be king or queen of this kingdom and they will do it at no cost. Is that how you say it? Yeah, like they will do whatever they need to do, which is why they are wicked. Wicked, I tell you. And it represents the snake. The snake, even though a very cute animal, will poison you and kill you like this. Just like the wicked people of this kingdom. So I think this is a battle for, <laughs> for the kingdom. <laughs> I have a bad toe and she just stepped on it, which is why I had to take a pause there. She just stepped right on my toe, which is really like purple, but okay. It's Kinda wicked. Like the wicked. So in the second one, look forward to it because things will get better. Completely wrong. How am I completely wrong? There's none of that. There are seven houses. Hogwarts? House of no, House of Wrath, House of Lust, House of Gluttony, House of Love, House of Pride, House of Envy, House of Greed. You know what those are? The seven sins. The seven sins, yeah, of course. So she goes to find the murder mystery man with wrath one of the sins right. yeah. and they kind of fall in love a little bit of course of course but yeah her sister her twin sister died the best so, thing about this book is the food there are just seven sins like they're just like sins everywhere it's yeah nice. for the next sins. It's, oh, it's it's wicked it's wicked it's <laughs> wicked oh wicked crazy man so, we'll so we're gonna thing. go to the last book <gasps> no the last book we were and having that so is much fun book I, number I, I, I was talking to them I was literally book number seven. That is right. And it's From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. From Blood and Ash. We will rise. So here we go. From Blood and Ash. Okay. Here we have a baby sword. Or is that an actual big sword? I'm not sure. That's anymore. a baby sword. It's a baby sword, aka dagger. With a an arrow. An arrow. You say arrow. I said arrow. Yeah, well, That's you're, wrong. You're a weird, weird little girl. It is arrow. Bow and arrow. Arrow. Bow and arrow. Okay. okay, I guess it is arrow. Why it did I say it arrow. in my head as arrow? Sorry, guys. We have red leaves, a dagger, and a um. Arrow. 
Arrow. Arrow. So it leads me to believe that there are weapons in this book. Obviously. Now you may ask what it's about. And I'm actually asking the same thing. But from Blood and Ash, I would say that this uh, female, because I have predicted that the female, the main character is a female. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I am right. Her name, you may ask. No. Oh, damn it. Um, we'll call her Maria. No. No, it's not no, Maria. Not even close. Is it like a weird name or is it like an actual like normal name? It's a weird name with a normal nickname. Don't look at the oh. back. <laughs> Whoopsie. Her name's Poppy. What the hell that's is that? her la Poppy? That's her nickname. Her Poppy. actual name is Penelope. She is trying to get revenge. Revenge because her family is dead. Which is why it says from blood and ashes because her family is all full of blood and ashes because of them. So she is fighting back, trying to get revenge on those that killed her. However, they are hunting her down as well. She's the last one of her family alive. So they want to kill her. But she will not let that happen. Why? You may ask. Because from the other family, the family that killed hers is Henry. Henry loves her. There's not Henry. What's his name? The guy? Yeah. Hawk. Hawk, hawk, like a bird. <laughs> he falls in love with her and will not let anybody do anything to her. Therefore, how many books does it have? Two, the third one's coming out this month. And the third one. Which I'm so excited for. Should look forward to, you should be. Because Hawk <laughs> and Penelope's relationship will go that extra mile. Okay. And they will have little babies, <laughs> little babies. You know what? I'm gonna give you the point. You should give me the point. But the you're not completely right. Right. Why am I not completely because, right? Because um, her family is dead. All right. And by the end of this book, she is looking for the people that killed her family. Okay, so I was right. But the actual thing is that she's the maiden of her kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that means she can marry, she can do anything. Right, basically. She, she wears a veil, nobody can see her face, nobody can see anything right. about her. She wears all white. But Hawk doesn't need to see her face because he sees through the veil. Actually, she is a bad maiden. She sneaked out on the first chapter, and that's how they met. I can't explain this without spoiling because I'm too too um attached to it. So I want to tell you everything that happens. Oh. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of videos and maybe Andy in the future. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. I already said that. Don't hit me. Right, but that was more fun. Uh, comment down below subscribe what you to thought my of little, my little brother's my crazy. Little sister. Oh, subscribe. Subscribe, like it. She's a very interesting human being. Sometimes. When she's talking about books. I, uh, after that, <laughs> it's on me, baby. It's on me. So thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day.